You rocking and rolling, baby. Hi, folks. Welcome to Buy His Stripes Ministry. Uh, this show is designed just to, to carry the love and the healing touch of Jesus Christ to those in need. I'm a very blessed man in the fact that I lived a very hard life for a very long time, and, and the love of Christ reached out and touched me and changed me and said, You know what, man? You don't have to be like this, and this is not your life. This is not your world. I am your world. I am the truth. I will set you free. You know, you know I can't speak for nobody else, just me, man, and he sure been good to me. The old devil gave me up dead many, many times, but now, like I say, uh, nine years after 16 years in prison, I'm a pastor of a church. I got a beautiful daughter, a beautiful wife, and look around. I'm at the Bucking Board in South Carolina. Hallelujah. Ain't it cool? This place was a healing place for me. Uh, like I told you, I lived a very hard life for a very long time. I spent 16 years in prison. And when the Lord finally opened the door and, and said, you know what, son, I got work for you to do. This is where I, I was blessed to come home to and to parole to. And as you can see, we got a beautiful pond there, or like four out here and uh, full of fish. And it's just nature, man. And, you know, a lot of times people, they think that church is the only place you can find God. And I want to make you, I want you to understand something. The Word of God says in Hebrew, do not forsake the assembling, because church is a wonderful thing. I myself am a pastor of a church, but there are many places to find God, and, and to just be here, out in the woods, out in this. Matter of fact, just today while I was waiting on our cameraman, Troy Air, which I say thank you to Troy again for what you're doing and for allowing us to use your facilities here, but more than that, just for being my brother, man, because I adore you. I love you, man. You're my brother. Anyways, while I was waiting on him, I went in that pond. Troy, pan that pond over yonder, man. Let him see that pond. All right, this is what y'all need to know. One of the things about the Bucking Born South Carolina, believe it or not, that pond right there got some 30, 40 plus pound catfish in it. I've caught a number of 8 and 10 pound bass in there. And just today I caught me a nice mess of big old crappy. For you northern folks, that is crappie. Ha, ha, ha. Either way, they still eat the same. Man, I mean, it's just it's nature. You know, God is in nature, man. And a lot of people think you uh, you got to be in church or you got to be somewhere uh, in a religious setting to find God. And it's not true. I've spoken to many, many, many hunters and fishermen who find God in nature. Remember, He is the creator of all this. He did it. He made it. He loves it, and He loves it when you love it. You know, God don't care where you're at, man. He just wants you to seek Him. And if it means seeking Him in a deer stand, then by goodness, have at it. If it's church... And I, and I recommend church because you need to be surrounded by a body of believers and there needs to be a day of worship for you whether you gather together and lift up your Savior as one corporately. But oftentimes, like I say, we get one mindset. I'm just telling you, man, I don't care where you are in life. God is there. Jesus is there and he wants to help you. He wants to bless you. He wants to come inside and live inside of you and touch you and change your life. And he will. Now, I got to give you a little bit of warning. When you start drawing toward God, don't you think that that devil ain't going to be aggravated? Don't you think that if you used to puffing a little smoke from time to time, that everybody you ever know going to show up with one rolled up? Everybody you ever know going to come up with a bottle? Everybody you ever know going to have a pill? Because the devil don't want to lose you, bro. You know what? He was coming at me like that one time. I was trying to do the right thing, and no matter which way I turned, this way or that, all of a sudden temptation was everywhere. And I said, well, what's going on? And then I realized, you know something? I done made that old devil mad. He lost his one of his best friends. It scared him, and he wanted me back. So you know what I did? I said, and I wrote this song. It's called The Devil's Mad. best friend he had. 
shout of God, man. Yeah, that's a fact. The devil's mad. The devil's mad. Think he's afraid a lot of what I might do. Knows I might need others closer to Cool.